Hey everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I'll go over everything that you need to know about GJN, War Thunder's marketplace currency, including what it is, how to buy it, and how to use it. Also, I'll go over why you should never buy it through Steam. That said, if you enjoy this video, please subscribe to my channel to help it grow. It helps tremendously. Additionally, I have a Marketplace Explained video that goes over everything that you need to know about the Marketplace, especially things that I may not cover in this video. Also, I'll be primarily using the browser Marketplace, which is the same as what you might get in Steam, just because it's easier to use for recording. Either way, let's get into the video. So, GJN is, as I stated in the intro, War Thunder's Marketplace currency. More specifically, it's the currency used to purchase items from other players that they put on the Marketplace. For example, in a crafting event, you can use GJN to purchase crafting materials. Additionally, you can purchase vehicles, camos, loot chest keys, and more. Gaijin takes about a 15% cut of each sale, which means that if you, the seller, would like to put something up for 100 GJN, you would receive about 85 GJN when it sells, while Gaijin receives 15. The conversion is, as of right now, 1 GJN per 1 USD. I misstated this in a previous video when I said that 1 GJN is approximately 1 Euro. The reason for this is, and this is why you should never buy GJN on Steam, because Steam upcharges GJN by a lot. For example, 1 GJN would be the equivalent on Steam to about $1.43, whereas you can buy it directly from the War Thunder Marketplace website, like I have open here, and it's 1 GJN for 1 USD. This is a huge difference that could end up saving you or costing you literally hundreds of dollars. So if you ever buy GJN, simply go to the Marketplace website directly, which you can simply search for War Thunder Marketplace on a search engine and you'll find it easily. Also, you cannot exchange GJN for any real life currency. Once you convert your home currency to GJN, whether it's USD, Euros, Pounds, or whatever, it will forever stay as GJN. So with that important note out of the way, how to purchase it? Well, it stinks, but you'll need two-factor authentication on your account. I've set up a link in the description below that goes over it far better than I ever could, but you basically need to confirm your email that it's yours, bind your phone number to your account, and also set up additional means of verification. For me personally, I use the Gaijin Pass app for this additional verification that you should be able to download from Google Play or the App Store. I find it very easy to use, so I give it my recommendation. And on an important note, as far as I currently know, only PC players have access to the marketplace for now, which means that console players cannot use this currency. This all said, once you finally get it working via two-factor authentication, which I'll admit more, took me likely more than about an hour or two just to iron out the issues, if I remember correctly, you will simply go up to here where it says replenish balance and proceed as though it is any normal online transaction. You can also, as I stated before, just sell items on the marketplace like vehicle coupons and crafting materials to earn GJN without purchasing from the replenish balance, albeit that Gaijin again does take that 15% cut as I mentioned before. So this is a little bit more efficient, but also you have to spend your own money, whereas you can just sell things that you would otherwise earn in game like normal, like let's say for example, loot chest and again crafting materials. And now finally, how to use it. Well, this is the easiest part. Simply click on the item that you want in the marketplace and I'll just check one out on the main page here. Let's just say for example the F4F early for Germany and once you find what you want, click on it and then type in however many of those that you want to buy. So if it's a vehicle, you'll probably just want to buy one of them but you can purchase as many as you want I suppose. So go here, click buy. As you can see, I can just click as many as I want. Let's just say if I had five that I wanted to buy for whatever reason, maybe I want to sell them in the future, I can just go click buy, agree to a Gaijin storm uh, terms of use, and move forward. Now again, this is very, very important. Uh, you will want to verify that your marketplace is set up to purchase items on the correct War Thunder account. Now it should verify your nickname in the top right corner, but also be sure, especially if you're on a computer that hosts numerous people that play War Thunder. So as you can see here, my in-game nickname appears. Additionally, you can buy, uh, use GJN to buy items from the War Thunder store like beginner's packs, vehicles packs, and so on. 
So if you have GJN that you earned, uh, for example, through selling crafting materials or for rare vehicle coupons that you sold, you can convert that money that you gain from the sale of those items into War Thunder store items like the XM1 or again, beginner's packs or whatever the heck you might want to do. So that's really very important and something I feel like a lot of people don't know. And it is important that if you are going to be purchasing through the War Thunder store with your GJN, it shows up as Gaijin coins, if I'm not mistaken, but it also has in parentheses GJN next to it. And it's one of the top selected options. But if it does not appear immediately and you do want to purchase through GJN, just go to more payment options and it should appear there. Now, if you have any questions about the Marketplace, consult my Marketplace Explain video that I mentioned earlier. It is in the description below. It has some overlap with this video, but goes over more about the Marketplace that I did not mention here. That said, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Please subscribe if you learned something or enjoyed this video. Either way, thanks again, and I'll see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.